does seeing the plane bring back any type of memories for you? <laughs> Tuesday in North Texas. A 97-year-old World War II vet. I'm feeling great. I'm looking forward to this. Took off in a World War II warbird. But Bill Congable never flew in the war. He was on the ground, assigned to the 89th Infantry Division. In 1945, he and his fellow soldiers liberated Ordruff, the first concentration camp liberated by the U.S. Army. We met at the Dallas Holocaust and Human Rights Museum. I was 19 at the time, and it just didn't uh, ever occur to me I would see something like this. But Con Gable did see it, and 78 years later, still sees it. 3,000 naked, emaciated bodies just thrown in on top of each other in a tangle of bone and flesh. It, uh, something you don't forget. Con Gable lives in Houston, came to Dallas ahead of VE, Victory in Europe Day, the day German troops surrendered. I remember that. He'll talk to Dallas school children Thursday at the museum and to any adult who will listen for as long as he has left. As long as I, my <coughs> voice holds up and my, and my hearing holds up, uh, I don't have to see you, but I can hear you. There's a reason he's determined. It could happen here. Watch out for the politicians. Be sure that you know they have the best interests of the country uh, in mind. A lesson Con Gable learned from the history he lived, the history he will never forget. In Dallas, I'm Sydney Persing.